Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at the TIGWELD 200EX, a 220 volt machine with a 25% duty cycle at 200 amps in the AC mode. Uh, and we're going to take a look at the variations that we can make to the machine using the AC frequency adjustment. So we're going to start out at 60 and we're going to slowly work our way up to 250 hertz on the frequency adjustment. So hang out with us for a few minutes and let's see what it can do. So I set the machine on AC and set the AC frequency to 60 hertz. So for this video all pulsar settings were shut off on the machine and we are only working with the AC frequency. I set the amperage to about 125 amps. So to make this weld the high frequency started up real nice and then I slowly worked my way down the edge of the plate adding just enough filler to crown up the bead or the puddle itself but not too much that let it spill over the side. I also had to pay attention to my amperage on the foot control as I moved along because the plate will slowly warm up. So this one was done at 60 Hertz or 60 cycles per second in the AC mode. So as we progress along here we're going to plan to increase the frequency of the AC sine wave on each progressive beat here. So I taper out and add just enough to fill up the pool right at the end. So there's a look at the completed weld. Nice even ripple pattern. So the arc started up real smooth and I just continued down the joint and each subsequent joint I used the center line for this weld to be the edge of the previous weld. So I'm trying to get half of this weld onto the base material and half of the weld up onto the previous weld. So that's a good routine to follow when we do any kind of overlay or pad buildup like this here. So the frequency is set at 90 here and it ran real smooth and nice. So there's a peek at the completed weld, tied in real well. So now we can definitely hear the change in the sound as we're twice as fast on the frequency as we were when we originally started the welding. So now we're up to 120. And the same thing as the last pass, just trying to keep it right there on that edge. It's important to keep the tip of that filler metal right there in the stream of gas so that it doesn't get contaminated in the oxygen and we don't get a series of oxides floating on the surface of the weld there. Here's a good look at the cleaning action that we see along the edge of the weld. Now I adjusted the machine to 150 hertz. So the high frequency started up real smooth and the bead progressed along real nice. So we want to make sure that we hold the proper arc length and maintain a consistent travel speed down the length of the joint. So it's that arc length, the travel speed, and the rate at which we put the additions of the filler metal which will be most noticeable effects on the ripple pattern that we see in each bead. And there's a look at the fourth pass. Now we've turned it up and we're operating here at 175 hertz. Real smooth, clean arc. We also need to make sure that we maintain the proper arc length 
So you want to keep no more than one eighth of an inch. Closer the better. But we also don't want to get down there so close that we touch the tungsten to the filler metal and such. Nice rhythmic, even ripples moving right down the plate. There's the first five passes. So this clip is an example of the machine doesn't respond to your commands unless you reach over and touch the knob. So once again, this is another pass at 175 hertz. So I failed to reach over and change the adjust the knob up there. So that's kind of the vision right there. I was a little foggy here in between passes and forgot to move the knob there. So uh, once again, this is another 175 hertz pass. Uh, we're going to taper out here at the end. Always make sure that we don't leave a big crater or we run the risk of having crater cracks at the end of our weld. So there's the second pass at 175 hertz. Now I adjusted the machine to 200 hertz. So with the machine at 200 hertz, we can hear a definite difference from the original 60 hertz weld. So that frequency changes definitely changes the sound or the cycle time that's going on in the AC sine wave there. So when we, in our ears, we audibly hear that change in sound and the higher pitch as we move through the frequency range. So once again, we're going to keep the puddle full and then taper out at the end and make sure that we don't have too much crater fill it up at the end there, and then taper off. So now we're getting to the upper limits of the frequency adjustments on the TIGWELD 200EX. So now we're at 225 Hertz, and we've got one more pass and one more step to move up to, and that'll be the next one that's at 250 Hertz. So the main noticeable difference that we can see in the weld bead as we move from 60 hertz up through the hundreds and two hundreds is that we get a more distinct and sharper bead and especially at the edge of the weld or the toes that we can get a sharper appearance and a much tighter ripple pattern or width to our bead. So I adjusted the machine up to 250 hertz and then went ahead and made the last pass. It was very noticeable between the last pass I made here at 250 Hertz and the previous weld I made at the beginning that was at 60 Hertz. So the main difference is is that the, at the edge or at the toes of the weld it's less forgiving uh, and it's easier to uh, get a more distinct line right along the edge of the toe and it doesn't want to wet in or tie into the previous weld uh, that was the main difference that I could see as I moved through it and such is. So, uh, there's definitely some advantages to being able to narrow the arc. Uh, you need to customize it and use it to each particular application and decide what works best for you. So we hope you got some details out of this and got some useful information. And we hope to see you in a future video here and check out some of the new things that we have to offer. Thanks for hanging out, and we hope to see you again real soon.